Welcome to the Mythbusters After Show. On today's episode, we are looking at duct tape airplane. All right, so the first question is, this is a classic story, nicely done, but how on earth did you guys get insurance for this sort of thing? <laughs> I ask myself that question every time they insure us. Yeah, this was a tricky one because it's if something had gone wrong, it could have been so catastrophic. I mean, the fact that we are, you know, depending on the strength of the duct tape to keep this airplane flying, it was a very tricky situation for us. We always do follow a very rigorous safety protocol. Um, we, we're not going to do anything that's going to put anybody's lives in jeopardy. All right. Since it was so dangerous, why didn't you RC the plane? Uh, FAA uh, restrictions on that type of activity. Yeah, you don't want an airplane. If we lost control on the RC, you got this plane flying around out of control. It's a giant projectile. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Very dangerous. Believe me, we tried. We looked into the whole thing because, yeah, it's, whether it's RC versus putting an actual guy in danger, you know, we'd, we'd always opt for something that doesn't risk anyone's life. But in this case, it wasn't going to happen. Besides the fact you don't think that Grant fought his little heart out to actually have a full-size <laughs> RC plane? That would be awesome. That leads us to the next question. Uh, if it had been allowed, could Grant have RC'd the plane and subsequently flown it? Of course That's, he could. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, it would have been pretty awesome. I mean, dangerous, but awesome. Yeah, you, you know, I looked inside in the cockpit at all the controls, and everything's pretty straightforward. It wouldn't have been that hard. Next question. I get that it was dangerous, but you really didn't put your duct tape plane through an, uh, thorough testing. I mean, you just flew it in a straight line and then stopped. And if it was for safety reasons, can you definitively confirm this myth without a thorough test? Look, it, I mean, we took off. Get off the ground. That is technically flight. And if you had something that you had repaired yourself with duct tape, you wouldn't be banking and doing loops. You'd be trying to get to safety as as you know, slowly and safely as possible. Now, I, I honestly really would have liked to have seen some sort of longevity test, see it fly a, a distance, but the fact is we're not going to put a person up in the plane uh, for, for that long a period of time. He's only going to fly as high as he feels safe falling. And the fact is, we found this story was a true story. It actually happened. So the real testing was done in the field. Yeah, but you know, I am convinced that we tested this thoroughly. I mean, what was the parameters? Can duct tape hold an airplane together enough for it to get off the ground? It got off the ground and he flew for a while. In my opinion, I mean, it's like the plane doesn't know where the ground is. In my opinion, the duct tape plane flew. And when we did go back over it and we looked at every single service, nothing had come loose. Uh, there was no gapping. There was no, uh, like, billowing anywhere. The, the entire surface looked the same as when he took off. All right, next question. What was your favorite duct tape story? Mine was waxing with duct tape. Oh, wait, we haven't tested that yet, <laughs> but it will be my favorite when we get to it. Yeah, yeah, it's in the books. Check the list. Uh, mine was <laughs> duct tape car. Um, because I got to destroy a car in a, just with every tool you could possibly imagine, including the jaws of life, tore it to shreds. You enjoyed that a yeah, little too much. That I was oh, pretty, it was so much fun. It was hard fun. to put that back together. But, and th we did, and then I got to drive it like a crazy person and watch um, Tori scream in ways that I don't usually see him scream. He doesn't usually get scared, but apparently my driving is the one thing that could put him over the edge I mean, into yes, this fear zone. Out of the audible range, actually, that the dogs were. My favorite duct tape myth was the duct tape cannon. I mean, to be able to build a weapon out of nothing but duct tape and actually have it work, I, it was just like, is there nothing that duct tape can't do? All right, next question. I think I recognize Carrie's bear claws in this myth from the Honey Badger parody you showed at Comic-Con. Yes. Yeah, uh, actually, they, these did go in the Honey Badger um, video because I love them, and I just needed another reason to actually use them because in my everyday life, I just, just don't usually have a reason to have giant steel sharpened to a knife bear claws. You, really you did cool. an amazing job. <laughs> I, I think you could be a vigilante superhero. And I, I, and Who says I'm not? And we've built a lot of dangerous things on the show, but I have to say those are one of the more terrifying ones. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well done. All right, last question. If you could redo a myth, whether because you liked it, 
test a different hypothesis, or reconfirm the results, which one would it be? You know, just off the top of my head, because we've done hundreds and hundreds, I really thought that we could have made Fireworks Man fly. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if we had more time to work on that design um, with, with all of the things that we've learned from rocket science, I, I feel like maybe if we just fudge the design a little bit, we could have actually made that work. Well, we definitely had enough thrush. I think it was just a stability problem. It, just, it didn't even make it off the ramp. I love to retest fireworks, man. I mean, that was so much fun just to be able to play with that many fireworks. But to get our guy to actually launch, as the myth said, I think we should definitely retest that. I think he could have made it. All right, well, thanks for watching the after show. Keep watching.